I promised you that I was going to show you all the setup and wiring of the Ardo Pilot in the Joy Trainer Mini. And I actually recorded some of that while I was doing it uh, before the flights, but I'm going to show you that now. So let's take a look. This plane has flown a lot and still works just fine. Of course, some cosmetic issues here and also some holes that I've had to open here to plug the USB cable to the flight controller. But other than that, it still flies fine. But maybe after a few more crashes, it will be ready to be retired, but still works fine and that's impressive. So if you want to learn how to make it, just check that video out and I'll leave the link in the description below as well. So I'm going to start doing this now and then we're going to do the flight. So among all of these things that I have in the table, I have the uh, wiring diagram of the flight controller that I'm using, the Omnibus F4 Pro, which is an AKK F4 uh, version of it, but it's the same flight controller. And here we see how the wiring of the camera should be done. I have that flight controller for years with me, but I don't remember how to wire, so this is very useful. And I didn't have to print it again because I, I also had this laying around. So uh, I'm going to start then placing the camera. Here it is, the Firefly 4K and it's going to be pointing forward here i have an sd card where i can record everything but yeah i'll leave the link in the description below to this camera if you want to use one of these so here's the flight controller right there I'm, I'm going to need some space here to be able to move around so i'm going to disconnect the gps for now and the receiver is just right there uh, glued into the wall there we go okay so here it is. So I just need to unplug this. I need, this is the wire that we're going to use or we're going to need. And this is the receiver. Uh, still works just fine, but I don't think we're going to use this for the long, uh, the long range we need. So this is the receiver we're going to be using, the RS Slim Plus from FR Sky and it is very compatible with the module that I'll show you before and we have two connectors one at the back and one at the front at the back we have the PWM outputs so this receiver can output normal PWM outputs but uh, via cables so you have to connect that here and then maybe uh, try and connect this to the signal pins of the servos but we're not gonna need that. This receiver is made this small because of the size, weight, and it's perfect for drones, racing drones. We have several connectors here. We have the S port, we have S bus in and S bus out. So we're going to need the S bus out and of course the VCC or power and ground. So we connect this here like that. So I know that my SBOS out is the gray wire and then we have the power wires, positive and negative. So we have to solder this to a connector or something to be able to connect it to the flight controller. We can simply get a, some sort of connector like this to plug it there and solder it to here. So that's what I'm going to do. For video transmitters, I have a lot to choose from. These are from AKK. They have sent me these a long time ago. I've done uh, several reviews of these in the channel some time ago. And this one is very powerful. So maybe I'll choose this one or maybe this one because uh, I'm not planning to go crazy far away because I don't think the battery will, will uh, stand that much. The antenna is also very important, but unfortunately I don't have many antennas to choose from. I'm going to be using one of these. I think this one uh, behaves really good uh, from my previous experience using this antenna. Uh, it, it is very good, but it's not the best. I have another one, but it doesn't perform as well as this one. Or maybe I should do a test I should bring to the, uh, to the field uh, two or three different antennas and test them and see which one is better. So this is what it ended up with, the video transmitter on the tip of the wing. So it is very separated from the other parts of the electronics. Although the frequency of the receiver and radio is very different from the frequency of the video, I like to keep them separate. So I have more 
uh, a little bit of space and th there is not much interference going on but shouldn't be a problem but uh, keeping it uh, up here on the left wing right on the tip of the wing well I can place the antenna there and no obstacles around like I think it's a better placement but yeah this is a very powerful video transmitter 5.8 gigahertz and from there I run a cable down here which is only power and the video signal so it's very basic and that's it so if we take a look inside it's going to be a very bad mess there uh, it's not it's not easy to identify things here but uh, I can I can just explain you what I did here and it's very simple this is actually this almost the same setup that I did with uh, INF the last time using the Joy Turner Mini but I didn't have a GPS module and yeah but I was using a long-range receiver which I think I didn't have to use at the time but but now I have to um, so this the, the only difference here is this huge capacitor that you might see here this capacitor that you see here oops I unsoldered this well this capacitor is connected to the 5 volt rail here and the ground of the video signal and that's to reduce the noise uh, created by the motor or the ESC and I was getting a lot of noise in the video output especially the on-screen display I wasn't able to see the numbers or all the values of the OSD so with that huge capacitor I reduced that so now it's readable even if I have the throttle all the way up uh, yeah the rest is a mess uh, so I won't be able to show you here but it's really simple actually and here I have the ESC and I'm using a separate BEC for the camera so I'll show you here this is the BEC that I'm using for the camera uh, the ESC has its its voltage regulator but it's to power the, the, the flight controller and I'm using a separate one to power the camera because this camera needs a lot of power uh, you know to record and do the, the whole function so I might have to show you a separate diagram of the connections that I'm do that I have here all the wiring because this is very difficult to understand but it's actually very easy and basic the flight controller is on top of a foam board support so the main thing is the software and connecting everything to the right servo or the right channel but everything else is uh, it's on the software and I had to go through the Ardo pilot documentation to see the specifics uh, about the flight controller about this uh, Omnibus F4 Pro because you have to set up or activate certain parameters for this flight controller for so you can take the, the advantage of the current sensor and things like that so I would say that the Joy Trainer Mini is an excellent plane if you're starting in the hobby it's very small easy to build but it's not perfect for this application using it for Arduino pilot or you know to explore and put a camera on it it is okay but it's not for that it wasn't designed for that it was designed for learning to fly and build your your first RC plane uh, now in the future I'm thinking to design maybe a wing or a different kind of plane specifically designed for this kind of flight controllers or this kind of software for exploration or FPV and things like that so uh, for now it's being very nice I don't think I'll be using too much the Joy Trainer Mini in the future I'll make few flights more like a couple more but then I'll migrate to a different platform for for audio pilot or INAF but it's being an interesting platform to be used in this uh, with this system so I hope you like this video uh, and if you want to support the channel please leave a comment subscribe uh, share the video and I'll see you the next time